Hello everyone, welcome to AppGH 4 minute videos for developer, Drupal developer portal season 4. In this video we are going to see how to collect developer attributes using developer portal and use that information in runtime in AppGH. Prerequisites for this video, you need AppGH account, you can register at appgh.com slash h. You should be having access to AppGH uh, Drupal developer portal as an administrator. Let's take a simple use case, uh, let's say there is a developer or partner uh, who would like to access your APIs and these APIs are exposed using AppGH platform and a simple uh, app that the, the, the developer or partner creates is going to make uh, API calls through AppGH platform. Let's say whenever this developer or partner uh, registers in AppGH uh, Drupal based developer portal you would like to collect some information about the developer and you would like to use that information in the API runtime so that you can able to take an action. Uh, for example, you would like to collect a developer type whether it is internal or external and uh, based on that you would like to take an action whenever there is an API call that goes through AppGH platform. You would like to retrieve this uh, attribute uh, in the runtime and you would like to take some action based on that. Let's see how to collect uh, this information using AppG Drupal based developer portal and also we'll see how this information will get populated uh, in AppGH. When you navigate to configuration and uh, dev portal, you will see a link called developer attributes where you can define the developer attributes that you would like to capture to AppGH. When you click on this link, uh, by default you will see a message saying that uh, you need to add a custom fields before you start using the attributes. So let's go ahead and create a custom field uh, that will appear in the user registration form or along with the user profile. To do that go to configuration, people, account settings and then manage fields. So we are going to add a new field called developer type. So I am going to add a new field called developer type and I will just prefix it with user just for consistency and I am going to say it as and you can choose the widget add check boxes or radio buttons and then click on save. I'm gonna say allowed values as uh, internal so it's generally uh, used as a key colon label and external. So I'm going to save the field settings and I'm gonna select uh, the value as a required field and display on the user registration form so that whenever user registers we can collect this information part of the registration form. So I just created a new user registration field now we have to uh, uh, configure this attribute as a developer attribute. To do that go to configuration dev portal and then developer attributes and we are going to see uh, whenever this information is uh, given by the end user we are going to persist this field as an attribute to edge. So select that and you can give the uh, attribute name I'm gonna use a user developer type and if attribute is empty then I'm gonna send as it as null. So save configuration. So let's quickly create a new user and let's see uh, whether that particular attribute uh, uh, gets populated in AppGH and the developer section or not. So I'm gonna click on register. As you can see now we have developer type internal and external. So I'm gonna say uh, developer demo123 and choose the developer type as internal and accept terms and conditions. Now this particular attribute should be available in AppGH for us in the runtime whenever the developer creates created. As you can see now the developer got created. Let's quickly go to the AppGH. I'm, lo I'm logged in as an LSR here. As you can see I'm in the space AppG forum v 40 If I go to uh, publish and developer I should see this new developer uh, demo 1 to 3. As you can see a few seconds ago developer demo 1 to 3 got created. So as you can uh, see the details of this particular developer there is a custom attribute called user developer type and the internal. So that's how uh, we capture the information using Apache developer portal and it will be automatically available in the Apache Edge. So you can get this particular attribute using the access entity policy in the API runtime and use this information uh, to take a call how would like you would like to handle uh, API if a particular attribute is present. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to post your questions in community.apg.com.